Okay, in here, okay, it looks like we got a little bit of jewelry. Look at this. Jeez. This is hoarders, man. They got, they got the weirdest stuff sometimes. Friction motorized road bots. Mighty robots that convert to truck. It's 1985. Okay, guys, this could be good. Come on. There's a whole bag full of locker nuts right there. Okay, that's one way to do it. <laughs> All I can think is that there still might be something good buried in there, and that's why he kept this for decades. A mysterious locker long forgotten about, covered in dust and spider webs. A man on a quest for adventure, buys it at auction for $1,700, hoping to find treasure. What comes next? Stay tuned right here on Locker Nuts. Back at this unit, this is the horror show of a unit that I bought for $1,700. Why, why did I do it? But we're having fun, we're having fun and I think you guys are enjoying the videos, all right? We have only put out one part of this series uh, as of now, as of when I'm coming back to dig here. So far, the response has been fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, all that great stuff. And thanks for just uh, really being a part of this adventure that I've gone on. Yeah, we're in it together. All right, so here we're back for another day of digging. Let's see what we find. You see, I brought back some garbage cans. I added a few more. I've got a couple little bins. Those, of course, were emptied last time I went to the dump. So they are ready to go, ready to be filled. All right, okay. We got still some dust raining down every time I open that. Whew. But boy, I was watching the first video and it looks a lot different now than it did when I first bought it. I can't even see very many cobwebs. We're making some progress. Today we're gonna grab some electronics and metal, I think. That's what we're gonna do, but we'll see how much uh, we'll see how much we can dig out. I've only got this thing till the end of the month, and really uh, the end of the month is Friday, and this is Monday, so that's not a lot of time. I think I might have to rent this for another month. <laughs> I don't even want, I can't get the words out of my mouth because I know that means another 250 bucks in fees. <sighs> All right, well, anyways, can't worry about that. All I can worry about is doing what I can today. And then tonight's our big live auction. If you guys haven't been to our auctions, check them out there every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific. And uh, yeah, we don't auction off this kind of stuff that you see here. And hopefully there's some other stuff in here that make our auctions, but we only save the good stuff for the auctions. But tonight we've got a lot of great stuff. We do every week, really. Yeah, so far, hardly anything out of this locker has made that cut. I still have hopes that you see all those boxes back there? That's where the treasures may lie. And under those couches, more boxes than in these. Who knows? Let's get to digging. All right, get my net off here. I maybe mentioned it recently, but I do love these nets. These are so easy. So easy and so good. It's tying everything down, securing it with just a couple clips. Gotten a lot of people asking me about those nets. So we had some rain yesterday, which is uh, great because we haven't had enough rain this year. And it is April, so end of April. And that means that uh, chances of rain are getting pretty slim. That's why you see the water in here. Got our table there, so we, we want to go through any of these boxes. We have a nice sorting station. All right, guys, I think I'm set up. Got some keeper stuff down there, chemicals and stuff over there. I'm gonna do a second pass through this. I already sorted it, but I put electronics and metal together. I'm gonna sort it one more time to pull the metal out and uh, separate electronics. Go electronics are free drop off, but metal, I'm gonna have to start getting some money for this. They do pay you, but you gotta stick around and wait for it, so. So that's what these buckets here are for. All right, you see, I found this big magnet in here, and I think that's gonna be good for figuring out what is aluminum. This stuff should probably go on top. Yeah. That's aluminum here, so that's worth a little bit more. Put that aside for now. 
And then these stainless steel sinks, I think, are pretty good metal too. I think that's worth some money. This guy here, is this is this aluminum? Nope. Ooh, these old tapes right here, Stravinsky, classical music, huh? I think we take those to the vintage market. Okay, this is pretty full. I already did get some weight off of it, but it looks like there's still a lot of stuff in here. Look at this thing. It's just disintegrating, really. Huh. I think I'm... Oh, boy. I think I'm going to have to unload it this way. Look at these green glasses right here. I don't know if those are worth anything, but I'll put them aside. That'll be vintage market. We'll let them sort it out. Everything is just like... It's just messed up, really. Can you see the shape of that book? It's too bad. Oh, look at this. Okay, hold on. Now, this might be something more better. I don't know. Sure looks fancy, and it looks like it's in good condition under all that dust, which is surprising. That really does look a little bit nicer. <laughs> look at that string. Oh, my goodness. Wowza. There's some uh, trim work for something, it's Mopar. Too bad it's all bent up like that. Okay, and here, okay, it looks like we got a little bit of jewelry. Look at this. That's kind of unexpected. In the scrap metal, we got jewelry. I can't imagine that's going to be anything good in there, but we're definitely going to have to take our time and look at that. Look at it closer. Man, what a mess. Okay, we got a little bit more silverware here. Rogers. Okay, that's most likely silver plate, but we'll double check it all. I'm just going to put all this stuff together. We'll check it all at the end. I know we have at least one spoon. One spoon so far. That is sterling silver. That actually looks gold. Can't be though. That looks silver, but... Man. Okay, we'll take all this back and look at it closer. I hope there's some good stuff in there. It won't take much to turn this day around. <laughs> something old. It looks like an eight track player. There's a couple of crusty earrings right there. Eight track Isaac Hayes. Oh look at this old knife right here. Old timer. Huh. Tips broke off but that's a keeper. And look at this old razor. Chick. Yeah, unfortunately this bucket is pretty much garbage. All this stuff fell out the bottom right here. Got more silver plate. All right, what's in here? Old books, body box building. Mondo Kane. Another uh, audio tape here. Selected writings of Thomas Paine. That looks like an older book. We are making some progress. Speaker. Kind of be sort of careful with those. There might be something good there. This could be, actually I could fill this up with scrap metal. Ah, bummer. Dang. Okay, was that something good? Look at the paint is just all peeling off that's really too bad this is a real oil painting and that is just that's that's irrepar irreparable that's oh man too bad too bad mm, mm, mm. look at that i don't see the artist signature on here it does look a little bit older shame 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 uh, not junk <laughs> that's what it is junk it's all broken up mirrors. The good news about all that is it allows us now to see what's behind it. The bad news is I don't see anything good. I see a bunch more electronics and then I see some kind of particle board thing there, but magnet doesn't stick to this thing, so who knows if it's silver plate or sterling. Hopefully solid sterling, that could be a hundred bucks right there in silver.
Oh, we get a soda with Ronald McDonald. A little silly. Oh, there's a few toys in here. Dang. I don't want to throw away the toys. I don't know if these have any value at all, but something a little better. Look at this hammerhead guy. Put those in this box down here. What's this Panasonic old Walkman right here? Oh, Ninja. Chuck E. Cheese. It'd be great if we found some red lines. Look at those. Those are little tiny pipes. See that? Little tiny pipes. Brand new, though. Okay, alright. There's a nice bullet. 9mm. Hollow point. Oh, a couple marbles. Yeah, I like the marbles. Jeez. What is this stuff? Look at this. This looks like a, a seed from something. And yeah, maybe a little tobacco. This is hoarders, man. They got they got the weirdest stuff sometimes. So it makes it fun to go through. Look at this guy. That is neat. Little metal soldier of some sort. He's really corroded. And then here we have a, a chain, but I don't think that's fooling anybody. <laughs> no. Yeah. Huh. Okay. What's this? Nope. Okay. And this? More little electronics. Yep. All right. These are little wa electronic watch uh, displays. That's funny. All right, that was a strange little set of bags. I don't even. Where did that? Oh, that came from that plastic bag right there. Jeez, so bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre? All right. I was really hoping I could grab stuff out of here. It's going to be very difficult. Those may go. These are aluminum, I think. But those they're kind of wedged in. All right, what are we going to do at the table though? I don't have a plan. <laughs> I don't have a plan. This is heavy. Look at that. It's like, uh, is that for mica on this side? Two little extensions there. Leafs. Hmm. I wonder if that's something special. I'll put it aside. Some aluminum. Garbage. Oops. Maybe I need to check that for money. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm still hoping, guys. I'm still hoping. It's crazy, but crazy, but I gotta hold on to some hope. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, an old equalizer. I had one that looked almost identical to that when I was a teenager. Yeah, it sticks a little bit. Something in there's not. I think the outside's aluminum, but this isn't. I think these are aluminum. Very nice. Oh, Man, this takes so much time. I don't even think it's going to be worth the time. That thing, Ken Tech. <laughs> I think that's steel, right? Braided steel. Okay, I'm gonna get this monster out of here because this guy is he he heavy. Well, that's not that heavy, actually. Cords are just terrible. Everything's holding on to each other. Oh, yeah. Does make it challenging though.
Oh, look at all these bulbs in here. They all look used though. Man, a whole bunch more electronics and stuff. Ooh, and what's in here? Let's see. Salon hair dryer. That's funny. Very old. Alright, what do we have here? This one actually doesn't look completely wrecked on the outside. Got some scratches on the face here. Harman Kardon 330B. And that one actually doesn't look like it was disassembled and parted out. And Harman Kardon, I do know, has some considerable value. Can have some considerable value. So let's go ahead and put that one aside for now. There's got to be some of these electronics I could bring to the vintage market. I know there are definitely guys out there looking just for that. Ah, look at that old camera right here. He has a Polaroid Swinger Model 20. Huh, look that up. Oh, look at this old thing. Now, there's an old pennant. Oakland Wildcats. Wow. That's probably a football team or something, I think. But that's definitely vintage. I have a vintage set of uh, pennants that we're auctioning tonight. Maybe I'll add that to it. Probably won't add very much value, but what else am I going to do with it? Ooh, wallet. Let's see what. Oh, Pierre Cardin. Yeah. Fancy. It's empty, though. Empty. Made in America. <laughs> All right, this is good. Look at this. Uh, it's all tangled up. There's an Atari power adapter. Hopefully that works. Uh, the phone's wrecked though. Right? Model Sweet Talk. That's a very old phone though. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should put that aside. Just in case. Uh-oh. What is this? Friction motorized road bots, mighty robots that convert to truck. It's 1985. Okay, guys, this could be good. Come on. Come on. Dang it. No. <laughs> oh, boo hoo hoo. That really got me excited for a second there. Well, I'm going to keep that case, even though it's peeling off right there. That's got to be like a copy of Transformers. Very early day knockoff. I was hoping to find some very old toys like that, but so far it's been very disappointing in that department. The only department it hasn't been disappointing in is scrap metal and old electronics. That's been plenty of that and garbage. We've had a plenty of that. My goodness. Okay, stepping back here for just a sec. Look around. I see speakers. I see TV. One, two, three, four TVs, big ones. We've got stereo, stereo, stereo. Still a lot of electronics. Speaker. Oh, uh, there's another little TV up there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff. I'm just hoping better stuff in the boxes. So far, not. And well, there's some buckets right there. That's good. Looks like two or three buckets. That'll be handy. Oh man, drapes. A big old box of drapes. <laughs> I just gotta laugh, right? That's all I can do. Laugh it up. Okay, wood. Whoa. There's an old clock, Elgin. Ooh, that, oh, actually that's, man, it's so wrecked though. Chipped off here. It's all twisted because it wasn't packed right. This coming off, an Elgin wall clock. That's gotta be mid-century and that would have been really, really cool to have. Uh, this is chipped off here too. Bummer, bummer, bummer. What else is in here? This is old speaker, empty. There's an old turntable. Get that out. Some broken mirror. Lovely. <laughs> those are those mirror tiles that we found in the front. We got rid of those already. It really does look like a bunch more junk in here. Oh, these are some old walnuts. Alright guys, there we go. There's a whole bag full of locker nuts right there. <laughs> Those are oh, very old. There's some old stuff here at least. Let's 
is. Yeah, nothing. Okay. This is something. Diamond needle for a turntable. Put that aside. Okay. It's a sieve. Standard testing sieve right here. Hmm. Two of them. This must be for something to do with this science project because see all these glass pieces here. I think those might be brass. I don't know what that is. That's for uh, holding beakers under a Bunsen burner. Oh boy, science class is coming back. In my memory, I mean. And this box can go to the dump next time I get a dump load, along with the drapery box. There's an old Coke bottle. Oh my goodness, this is... Where am I at? Where am I at here, guys? What do I do now? Should I take this and come back? The next trip's going to be dump run because we got this 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 that 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 box that box and definitely can see some other stuff here to go to the dump and we're not even getting into those couches that's obviously dump the chair is probably dump and i noticed later this little pedestal missing the a wheel there Boop. i have two brand new ones those at home so i don't think i'll be keeping that one Ooh, some more scrap metal Yeah, we got more chemicals here. Yay. Toaster. Ooh, that's kind of cool. General Electric. These old toasters, the four slice toasters, those can be worth some money. I'm not keeping something like that out of this locker, though. I just, I, I would not want to uh, put that in someone's house for use. That would be a fire hazard. There's an aluminum. Some more aluminum. I think that's aluminum. Let's get this. Little zenith. Okay, that's one way to do it. <laughs> that's a, li a little precarious on the back like that, but I'm gonna strap it on pretty good. All right, guys, my GoPro ran out of battery right at the right time. So I was just about done. It looks terrible. Look at this. Once again, this looks like I didn't even do anything, but I definitely did. Definitely did. We made a big hole back there. Every time we come, we're chunking out a little bit more. And we're seeing the progress. And that's the chunk right there. That's the chunk. Chunky chunk. Pretty good, right? Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, we're going to head down to the recycle place and scrap all that. Maybe get a little bit of money, we'll see. All right, guys, so here we are at the scrap yard. Uh, it's over there, actually, but I'm right here next to this dumpster. This is where we put the electronics. So they sort through them later. The, there's the yard behind me. I was here before, there's nobody here. Now there's a little bit of a line. A few far, so go get in line. All right, here's what we got. A little bit of aluminum, a little bit of mixed metal. He said he'll only take solid metal, so nothing like no sheet metal or anything. That, that ruled out a lot of stuff. And this, there's a sink in there, like four stainless steel. So let's see how much we get for this. Uh, unfortunately, all this, we just basically donate, but at least we know it's getting recycled. All right, here's the outcome of the trip to the recycling center. $30.55. There it is right there. 
you can see that most of that money came from the stainless sinks, right? The four stainless sinks, 44 pounds, $22, 50 cents a pound on that. Aluminum, 40 cents a pound. We had 24 pounds, a little bit of money. And then steel, 34 pounds, was that nine cents a pound? So yeah, the stainless and aluminum was much better. For comparison, I think copper is gonna be paying me $3. So one of these times we'll bring that copper, those copper bricks down, that's gonna be $3, much, much higher than those. But still, that's a little bit of money. Making our way back, clawing our way back to zero. I'll be back soon. I gotta keep, I gotta keep working here. So thanks again for coming with me on this adventure. We didn't do too much digging today, did we? Just a little bit of digging. No treasures, more junk. Unless you think the junk's treasure, then there might be something wrong with you. <laughs> you might be a hoarder. If you think there's this treasure, what you've seen so far, you might be a hoarder. Uh, yeah, don't be like this. Don't get to this point. This is a this is a tremendous waste of money. The pay storage on this boggles the mind. All I can think is that there still might be something good buried in there, and that's why he kept this for decades. The newest thing that we found so far, I think, is from the 80s. I can't remember if we found anything from the 90s even. It's mostly 80s and 70s and 60s. So this is this is a real time capsule, and you know I do enjoy it still. I'm having fun. I don't mind it. I know at one, some point I'm probably probably when I get to those couches, I'm going to be done with it. I'll be like, okay, I just want this to be done, you know. But we'll see. We'll see what else is in there in the upcoming episodes. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Man, this is old books right here. Ooh. Heavy metal. How funny, huh? Alien. Illustrated story. Oh, wow. This actually might have some value. It's illustrated like, this is like a graphic novel basically, an old one.